What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Mario 64 video. In today's video, we're going to be completing the very first level to 100% and that is Bombs Bombs Battlefield. This level was very easy to get to. It's the only door that you can actually go into without any stars and you jump into this painting right here to enter Bombs Bombs Battlefield, the first level inside of Mario 64. I'm gonna be going through each and every star, showing you the most easiest, efficient way to complete it. Let's jump right in. Big Bombs on the Summit, the first star inside of Mario 64. All you have to do, pretty much, is go to the top, basically mountain on Big Bombs Battlefield. It's like a little mountain, you gotta run up, follow the arrows, basically, and Avoid the chump chump and make your way all the way up here side and avoid all the obstacles. They're basically, that's what it is. It's, they built this stage to feel like a 3D version of a classic Mario stage. Like, you know what I'm saying? A classic Mario world, the land, or you know what I'm saying? Back in the 2D eras, creating obstacles is gonna fall in your way. Once you make it up to here to this cover, yo, all you gotta do is literally go right here. And it's like a little teleportation shortcut that sends you all the way to the top part. Jump up here. You also can run all the way around just to show you guys. And the hill will bring you up here so you can face the big bomb himself. He's gonna turn around, have like dialogue. If he grabs you, he will throw you off the ledge and you will have to climb back up. Sometimes he doesn't throw you off the ledge and, you know, it's more of a nuisance because you have to, you know, get caught by him and he's going to throw you. It doesn't take away any damage. But as you can see, he is super slow. Super slow. In order to defeat him, all you got to do is literally run behind him. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit. Run behind him and then punch his butt. Once you do so, you grab him like this and what you want to do is throw him on the ground that's pretty much it if you throw him off the ledge he will just fly back on so that's a, again a waste of time what you want to do is just again grab him and throw i believe you have to do it three times right yeah you have to do it three times last time he does become a little bit oh no i was gonna say he does become more aware of you and if he does and he starts spinning real fast what you want to do is just again Move away from him and then run all the way around him and then grab him, punch him in the butt to grab him and just throw him on the ground three times. Boom. He does a little, you know, enemy speech at the end. And there you go. You got your star. And let's collect that. That's going to be the first star to grab in Big Bombs Battlefield. Second star, the foot race with Koopa the Quick. One of the iconic, I would say, stars in this whole game is actually the races with Koopa the Quick. There aren't that much. I believe there's only like two. But Koopa the Quick is um, iconic Mario character, obviously, um, being one of the classic enemies and stuff like that. What you wanna do is basically do the same thing. Make your way up that mountain, just like if you were gonna go fight the Bomb King at the top. Oh, oh my God. So I am just long jumping and that's because it's kind of the quickest way outside of just running hauling and do note you could take this shortcut it's totally legal there are races in the game that taking shortcuts are not legal but this one you could totally take the shortcut grab the flagpole classic mario style and just wait for koopa the quick to come here and he will give you the star there we go boom and he like poops it out and there we go. Here we go. Third star, shoot to the island in the sky. And basically, that's exactly what you have to do. You have to shoot to that island in the sky. I'm gonna see if I can look at it. It's literally that island in the sky. I probably have an arrow pointing at it. But you see that arrow, that, that red coin up on the top of the tree all the way up there? You need you need to shoot yourself there. So what you want to do is, oh my god, this camera is terrible. What you want to do is talk to this pink bomb right, guy right here. He's going to open up the cannons in the level so you guys can shoot yourself up there. I do believe you. this is the only um, stage or the only star you go to that he will first let you basically open that up i believe in the first one with like the race and the big the the battle 
he will not let you get inside of the cannons and again to get to this island in the sky you want to go to this cannon and then shoot in between i always shoot between these clouds like you see this cloud right here i always shoot the blue and between the clouds it gets you right up there on top of that island in the sky boom and what you want to do is when you're up here is hit this box and there you go you got your star and that is it shoot to the island in the sky find the eight red coins now i might make this a unique video as well so if you've seen this outside of the star collection video for completing bomb bomb battlefield outside of that i did do a video of all the stars so you might want to click over to that one if you need help getting all the other stars this is going to be the first red coin you want to go to right here on this um what do you call this it's like a elevator you could say it's an elevator let's call those elevators and then second red coin you want to grab is up here you could run up this rock by the way i just did like a nice triple kick but this rock is fully able to just run over any side then the third one i like to go for is up here with our buddy chain chump bow wow you can grab that one climb over here i believe i could be wrong but there's one down here right behind the gate oh my god i got all these bombs chasing me okay okay all right all right relax 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 okay yeah there's one down here inside of this um little cubo underneath the gate behind the gate actually there's a button that opens that gate there's another two here which aren't so hidden and then there's the one on the island that's seven and then there's eight is over here let's grab this one oh whoa. let's grab this one before we jump and shoot our stuff up to that island to get that last one this one is literally you could just literally just oh whoa 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 if you find yourself sliding down you're sliding down but you could just literally just run up and grab this one Bow. Very easy. This level 8 red coins is probably the easiest in the whole game. Granted, it is the first level. So now, I, I again, I'm just going to this cannon. It's what I'm used to to get to that island in the sky. I'm pretty sure you can with the other cannons. It's just, this is my go-to. It's just so simple to just shoot in between those two clouds to again land on the island in the sky every time. And you got yourself the last red coin. And then just dive literally. Don't kill yourself like me, but just get yourself over here as quickly as possible. And that is it on how to get the eight red coins inside a bombs bombs battlefield again if you are watching this outside of the main video on how to complete bomb bombs battlefield 100 percent there are videos for the other stars right here on the channel so be on the lookout for those so the next star we're gonna go for is mario wings to the sky now my recommendation for this one is to actually go and complete behind chain chumps gate it's a much easier star i'm gonna do that one next for you guys in this video however mario wings to the sky the reason why i suggest that you skip this one at least for now is because you actually need mario's wing cap if you don't know how to get mario's wing cap you need i believe it's 15 stars or 10 stars something like that and then once you get that you can go to the main lobby inside of peach's castle the main castle you look up into the sky where there's a light beaming down and you get transported into a secret hidden level where you have to press a red switch in order to get these boxes to get filled up just kind of like how it was in super mario world again if you want a full video on that i already have one up on the channel i recommend getting this one uh the red switch first for the wing cap 
because if you don't, you have to just keep on shooting yourself into the sky, trial and error style, until you collect all of the rings inside of the circle rings in the sky. So when you head over to the island in the sky, you might have noticed that there was a whole bunch of coins just floating around in the sky with like no way to actually get them. And one of the ways you're gonna need to get them is through Mario's red wing cap as well as this cannon in the middle. So you're gonna need to talk to the pink bomb so he can open up the cannon. And then what you wanna do is when you're up here, you see these like rings with coins inside. You're gonna need to get the ones that are in the middle. Now again, you can easily just jump into the cannon and then shoot yourself at these rings to eventually collect them all and eventually get the coins in the sky but the most optimal way is to actually fly so that's what we're gonna actually do and it will take you like three to four times max to actually get all of them depending on what you're doing I know there's people that can do this you know one shot one one take um, not me I'm actually gonna take uh I want to say this is like the best way you get two and I think we have to go in the cannon again to shoot back up because we are very, very, very down. Where are we? Yeah. Oh, no, not really. And as you can see, you got to get the coins that are in the middle. So I think I can grab this one, actually. There we go. Three, four. Ooh, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Save us some time, man. What you want to do is every time you land back, also, just re up. Get another Mario wing cap. You don't want to be caught in the sky without it and just fall to, your, not to your death, but just fall all the way down and have to climb back up here. So I'm gonna do like a little bit up here in this ring. Let's see if I can hit any. No. Where is those other coins I need to be getting? No, not that one. I got that one. Okay. Let's re up again. shoot myself into the sky. This time I'm gonna do, where's that coin? I'm gonna do the top one. Uh, like top, middle. Oh, I think it's there, there we go. And I got myself the star for Mario Wings to the Sky. And boom, land right here and grab it. Here we go. And again, this one is very difficult to do. Obviously, you can do it without the wings cap. Very difficult to do without it. I recommend just grabbing the wings cap and coming back to this level once you have it. Very easy to just do Mario Wings to the Sky with the wings cap. Now, the next star we're going to go get is the sixth and last star behind Chained Chump Gate. Now, I actually got the star already. The reason why I got the star is so I could get the Mario Wings cap in order to do the Mario Wings to the Sky one. Behind Chain Trump's Gate is a very easy star to get. And you probably actually walked by this one uh, dozens of times playing this level and probably never seen it. Or you've seen it and wonder how the hell do you get inside of this gate right here behind Chain Trump. Now, in order to do so, it's very easy and simple. What you need to do is jump on this log and ground pound it down all the way to the ground. And I just got a hit. No, 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 no. There we go. So you want to avoid getting hit by Chain Chump and hit that log into the ground. What's tough is that sometimes he's too big and you can't see. But so you just line yourself up and don't die like I'm about to. You should be able to do it in time. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> and then Chump Chump, he's gonna go and break the gate for you so you can get yourself in there like that. And that is how you grab this last star inside a Bombs Bombs Battlefield. Okay, now we're gonna get the secret star inside of Bomb Blanc Battlefield in every Super Mario 64 level. If you collect a hundred coins, you grab yourself the secret star. Now, I'm not gonna do too much commentary with this star in particular because it doesn't matter where you get your coins from. From blue coins to red coins to the coins that are in the sky, it doesn't really matter. Your preference is your preference. What I recommend you doing is getting the blue coins in a couple of, of the 
coins in the sky first and then work around and try to get the coins that are on the ground because when you do get your last coin that's where the star is going to be so it will suck if the star is just some random place in the sky where a coin used to be so you don't want that you want to grab as much coins as you can in the sky first and then get the coins that are on the ground or have like at least a safe coin or a safe a couple of coins that you could just grab that you know are gonna stay there Great, there's coins under here that I totally forgot about. That is, I'm totally happy I forgot about. Because now I can get the star on the ground rather than getting it on the sky and try to figure that out. So here. here we go. What's also cool about this is that when you get the 100 coin star, it says you have collected 100 coins so you get the star. But then it also lets you save right here in the middle of the level. And you get to continue doing the star, which is something that's incredibly useful inside of Super Mario 64. Because again, you don't get to do that for any other star. Any other star you get in the game, it jumps you and throws you out the level. This is the only star in the game that once you get, they allow you to keep going, running around, and just play around and complete the star that you initially join the level for so i think that's pretty cool now that's going to be it guys for bomb bombs battlefield again if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below if you're new around here i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there also if you are new around here and you're looking for some mario 64 content you have made it to the right place i'm going to be completing the game 100 percent right here on the channel so again hit that subscribe button if you are interested in more content especially 100 percenting each course one by one i'm gonna be doing that right here on the channel for you also hit that like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the video peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or TikTok. TikTok or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.